Part of today's volatility is due to the debt impasse in Greece, but part of that volatility is also due to what the Fed may or may not say, may or may not do at its policy meeting later this week. And certainly we know the Fed is considering raising rates at some point this year. More likely they will signal their intent of raising rates. So the market will be on pins well, and How would they signal their intent? They've already policy. signaled their intent a myriad of ways. I mean, will sure. they just outright say it's sure. going to happen in November, going to happen in December, going to happen in September? I don't know. Or, yep. Because I think this is the most telegraphed event close to human history. Right. I mean, why will it be a surprise when they finally pull the trigger? Well, markets do move in anticipation of these events, and lately we've been seeing better economic data, whether it's the jobs data, whether it's retail sales, whether it's auto sales, and even uh, small business confidence have all been better. So it's, giving, it's bolstering the Fed's argument for raising rates. But when they actually do pull the trigger, and it's sort of like the guy that cries wolf, right? You know that Greece has been threatening to leave the euro, and the Fed's been threatening to raise rates. So when they happen, you'd think it would be after the fact. But the currency and the debt markets have been very jittery recently in anticipation of these events. Next, we may see that jittery nature translate into the equity markets as the equity markets take a wait and see attitude and say, what does this mean to me? What does this mean to M&A? Do we have less M&A because rates start to move up? Do we have fewer stock well, why buybacks? Are we seeing the M&A, this why, why are we seeing the M&A we are? Are they just trying to yep. get in while the interest rate getting is good yep. or, or what? Get in, get in while it's good. Also, we have a relatively slow growth economy despite that better economic data. And when you have a slow growth economy, you merge, you create efficiencies, you create synergies. You don't necessarily create high paying middle class jobs, but you do whatever you can if you're that CEO or you're that CFO to raise your stock price and to raise profits. Raising profits isn't necessarily good for the middle class. It is good for those shareholders. And All that's right. what we're seeing in these mergers where companies are creating value for the shareholders, not necessarily creating value for the economy as a whole. All right, Mr. Glazer, thank you very much. We shall see.